Well, there are so many riders out there, you know, that once they crash their motorcycles, uh, the first thing they want to do is they're going to sell the motorcycle and everybody tells them how dangerous motorcycles are. I'm going to tell you how to recover from a motorcycle crash and be a boss. Motorcycles are so dangerous. Let's go for a ride. Whoa. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Riding a motorcycle is all good and fun. And you build your confidence up. And the next thing you know, you have a motorcycle crash. And it all goes out the door. Um, it has you questioning whether you should ride a motorcycle again. Well, I'm here to tell you guys. If you get in a car crash, do you give up driving a car? Ask yourself that. Do you give up driving a car? Most of you do not. Okay, there are some people that they're scared to drive cars again because they got in a bad car crash. Uh, but most people don't. I've seen people that have been crippled in a car crash where they, they lost their legs or something and they still drive. Um, just because they got to get from point A to point B, man. They, they don't want to rely on anybody, you know, and they realize that shit happens, okay? But when it comes to a motorcycle, people get in an accident. Oh, my God. Motorcycles are so dangerous. What? Oh, man. Yo, you got to get rid of that motorcycle. Don't ever ride motorcycles again. You know, you, you'll die on a motorcycle. But a car... You don't, you don't get that at all, even though there's prop, there's a lot more deaths from uh, car crashes every single day because more people ride uh, drive cars uh, than they do motorcycles. But first off, the first thing you need to, to realize and tell yourself is that motorcycles are not dangerous. It's the rider that is dangerous, okay? <laughs> because you lack skills, you're not, a lot of them, people aren't wearing gear. A lot of people are commuting to work every single day in uh, horrible traffic. Well, this is just a vessel here. You know, the motorcycle only does what its operator, how its operator operates the motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you are the dangerous one. You're the one that's not wearing gear, or you're the one that's not riding defensively out here. Um, you're the one that's commuting to work, going to your job in uh, business traffic, which is horrible, and ups your risk exponentially. You're the one that rides in the city all the time uh, with cars. Uh, you know, all these factors here up your risk, you know, of having a real effed up day on your motorcycle. So understand that. You can reduce your risk of getting in a motorcycle crash, okay? Uh, it, you know, like they say, if you don't want to get bitten by a shark, don't go swim in the ocean, okay, where there's sharks. With a motorcycle, you see where I'm riding out here, guys. Sometimes I will venture into the city, but for the most part, I'm out here riding carefree on these long, Ohio, beautiful country roads out here with scenic rolling hills and enjoying the ride, not stressed out, okay. I'm riding during the day, okay where you're most visible a lot of you guys ride at night and you think it's safer because there's less cars out there but you got a lot of drunks out there so that ups your risk and you're not visible you're not as visible at night hell they don't even see us that much during the day you know what i'm saying the people that hit motorcycle riders the first thing they say they didn't see them in broad daylight so you know at night it's even worse when you get over your your motorcycle accident the first thing you're going to think is that you're going to be, tell yourself you're going to be a better rider, you're going to do things differently, assess the situation on what happened. If it was a car that pulled out uh, make, making a left turn in front of you, which is the classic case where it hits a lot of bikers out there, uh, tell yourself that next time you're going to follow Cycle Cruise's defensive riding. So you're going to see every car that's getting ready to make a turn or every car around you that they're going to nail you. And you're ready because when you have that thought mindset you're gonna be ready 
and it's going to help keep you safe out here. You know, but if you're riding out here like so many riders do, carefree, don't pay attention to cars. They just assume cars see you and they're not going to turn in front of you. Those are the people that get killed out here on motorcycles, guys. Um, they don't ride defensively out here. And a lot of them don't wear gear. They wear, see that guy's got a half helmet on right there. Now, if he crashes on his bike, his face is going to get jacked up real bad. <laughs> now, see, when, if he crashes with that half helmet and his face is all disfigured and he's messed up, people are going to blame the motorcycle, man. You know what I'm saying? Motorcycles are so dangerous. No. It's the biker not wearing the proper gear, speeding, you know, not riding defensively, riding at night. Like I said, all these factors. So if you want to stay the safest, like I said, then you're going to ride during the daylight. You're going to ride out in the country. You're going to ride defensively. And you're going to be a better rider the next, when you get out on your bike after recovering from your crash. So don't let a crash get you down, okay? Shit happens. Same in cars. Like I said, people get hurt every day and, and killed in car crashes. But nobody, most people do not stop riding in cars. That's what gets me, man. And um, I, just, I just cringe when I hear, I, I've had people leave comments and they say, Cycle Cruiser, man. I gave up riding, motorcycle crash, I crashed, and man, these bikes are dangerous, man. I, I had, a, I just cringe when I hear that, <laughs> because you bought into the stereotype. You know what I'm saying? You didn't, you didn't realize the fault was within yourself, the mistake you made. Now there's gonna be some times where it's absolutely not your fault. You did everything you possibly could to reduce your risk. And somebody just came at you and nailed you and set, and set you up for a effed up day. And you got hurt really bad. But, like I said, shit happens, man. Uh, it happens in a car. Now, a car, you're protected with, uh, you know, a, a cage and airbags. But oftentimes, there's people out there that get hit in the car and the car actually traps them. The door gets jammed because the car hits it. It catches on fire, and guess what? You're barbecuing the car. That's one thing you don't have to worry about with a motorcycle is ever being barbecued <laughs> alive uh, like a car because when you hit on a bike, it's going to eject you forward. You're going to be free from your bike. You're not going to be trapped and, and, unless you're underneath a car. Now, you, you're pinned, and you can't get out, and then the car catches on fire or something. But that's, how often is that going to happen, you know? But like I said, shit happens, man. Um, that's why every time before I go out and ride, I make a prayer and uh, ask a higher power, God, to keep me safe out here on my bike and just try to do the best I can out here. But I'm not going to go through life, uh, you know, fearing uh, and having a lot of uh, negativity. I'm just not going to do it because honestly, the, your body is more dangerous than a motorcycle, in my opinion, man. I just saw a lady that did everything in life the right way. She ate healthy. She uh, did everything right, man. She was very healthy. And then she ended up getting strep throat, and it turned into double pneumonia. And then she got sepsis that happened, and, and her, her limbs, her, her arms and her legs turned black and died. And they had to remove her arms and her legs, guys. Okay, because her body attacked her. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Like I said, it, it, people get jacked up every day from their own body. They get diabetes. They go blind. They, uh, you know what I'm saying? This shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at my brother. Like I said, he died of a brain aneurysm. He was the craziest dude on a motorcycle doing wheelies and 100 miles an hour and I didn't wear gear and he never got hurt on a motorcycle but he died at 30 years old laying in bed which is the safest place ever right that's what you think you're not safe okay none of you are safe you got to get out here and enjoy life okay like I said you want to reduce your risk 
this is what you do. You ride out here in the low traffic areas. You ride during the day. You wear all the proper gear. You ride defensively. You're going to be okay. Okay? And if you crash, get back on your bike. You're going to be a better rider for it. But anyways, I want you guys to stay strong out here. Stay safe. I wish you guys all the best. Hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos are released. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.